Hi everyone, Professor Hank here, and today we're going to talk about how you can pass file stream objects as arguments to functions in C++. So this is going to allow you to further modularize your program, and it's also going to require you to use pass by reference. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can do this. So since we're going to be working with files, we're going to have to include the F stream header. And then what we'll do is we will create a OF stream object. So we'll call this a uh, file. All right. And so then I'll create a couple functions. And the first function I'll create will have the responsibility of attempting to open the file for writing, right? And then this function will return true if successful and false otherwise. So that means we're gonna need a Boolean return type and we'll name the function, you know, open file. And we're gonna pass as an argument a string, which is going to be the name of the file that we're gonna open, but we're also going to pass by reference an OF stream object. If we're going to use strings here, let's not forget to include the string header file. So then we can define this function and we'll go ahead and just copy and paste that down here. And then we'll name our parameter here about, and then the string parameter will be named um, file name, right? So what's going to happen is, is that we'll do something like this. We'll say um, about dot open and we'll pass as an argument the file name. Okay, and then we can test to see if it actually opened. So we'll do something like out if out dot is open. If that's true, then we'll return true or false otherwise. So let's write another function whose job it will be to uh, write a string to the file. And so it's not going to return anything. So we'll just have a void return type and then we'll name this function write to file. And it's going to accept a couple of arguments. One is going to be an OF stream object by reference and then a string that we're going to write to the file. And so then let's define this function. All right. So we'll call this parameter file. Why not? And then this will be the string that we're going to write to the file. So I'll just name that stro. And so then what we'll do is We'll do fout, and then we can just do something like this. We can say fout street, right? So that will write it to the file, and then we'll just go ahead and have it close the file when it's done. So what we've done then is we've split up the responsibilities of processing the files to two different functions. So let's go back into main here, and we'll go ahead and call our open file function, and we'll pass to it the of stream object and a string for the file name. So we'll call it output.txt. And so we can then store the Boolean that it returns in a Boolean variable. Then we can test that. We can say uh, if result, if result equals true, then we'll go ahead and call our write to file function. And we'll pass to that function the off stream object again and some string we want to write to the file. Uh, how about hello world? So if the result is not true, then that means the file failed to open. So we'll have an error message here in response. Say something like error file failed to open. So let's go ahead and test that. So nothing in the output is good because we didn't get an error message. So let's go open up that text file and see if we actually successfully wrote to it. So there's our text file output.txt and you can see there's the hello world. So now you know how to pass file stream objects as arguments to functions. Okay, so that's going to bring this video to a close. If you're a student of mine, you have questions about any of the topics that were covered in this video, feel free to drop me an email, stop by my office hours, or hit me up on Zoom online. For the rest of you, if you thought the video was useful, please consider giving a thumbs up. If you thought the video sucked, you got the thumbs down button as well. Consider supporting the channel in various ways. You can subscribe, you can join as a member with additional perks for as little as 99 cents. Leave a comment, whatever. But most of all, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.